it's not just about crowdsourcing money for groups engaged in hostile activities. It's also about crowdsourcing people. So Syria, in addition to fighting a physical civil war, is also fighting a cyber war, which is being led by the Syrian Electronic Army. What the Syrian Electronic Army has started doing is crowdsourcing foreign fighters, not with guns, but from the former Soviet Union to come and fight the cyber war. And it's interesting, there's about 15,000 foreign fighters physically fighting in Syria. About a third of them come from Europe, and about a third of those from Europe are converts, which is just sort of an interesting uh, data point. But it's a totally, the Syria is the first example that I can think of where you have software engineers that are sort of added to the equation, fighting a totally different type of war on top of the one that we're familiar with. And if you think about Iraq, for instance, um, you know, obviously we're familiar with you know, sectarian violence that's played out there and played out in Syria. When you think about sectarian violence and then you think about something we're all familiar with, which is cyberbullying, um, it's really the sort of next stage of this, when cyberbullying becomes better organized, better funded, and in some cases state-sponsored, which gets to, to your point. You know, if one demographic or one sect or one group is disproportionately able to garner resources to terrorize a rival population, both in the physical world and also online, it's doubly as damaging. Mm -hmm.